<laughs> Hello, everyone. It's Open House Thursday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I am Tokwe Mark Odige. And with me, as usual, are the ladies of Your View. Thank you. Your view. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Glam. <laughs> Any gist for me today? Hmm, oh, yeah, been, hit me. I need to <laughs> gist you people some. Please tell us, tell us. Aima asked me if she can have her birthday every day. Eh? Ah. She kept disturbing me. I said, whatever you want to do. She said, will you buy cake? I said, no, you look for your money and buy cake. Madam dressed up in house oh, clothes goodness. and went to school. Ah. I came back. It was when they picked her from school. I saw her. I'm like, what? Oh. She says, my mommy says I can. So <laughs> when I asked, why did they decide? Her mommy said she can celebrate her birthday every day, so she dressed up to school. <laughs> but I was surprised nobody in school said anything to her or to us. So They didn't call you, nothing? So I'm saying, I like that my daughter is... Audition. Yes, but also... The school should put checks. Yes. No, no, not about that. I don't want to break her. I want her to be confident. Mm -hmm. But I also want her to do it. In, yes. So how do I do it so that she's I don't... She's still five. Yes, yeah, she's five. She's still five. So you have a conversation. But she's a very... She's still five. Mature five. five. Yeah. She's still five. I think, have I, I think it's just with the beautiful confidence that she has. Mm -hmm. She's five. Mm -hmm. She's bold enough to decide mm -hmm. and dressed up. I was able to defend it to her teachers. Mm -hmm. Obviously, she had to, you know, so. Yeah, have a conversation uh, with her. Make her understand that there's time for everything. My daughter likes to paint her nails to I, school. Yes. Mm. So I tell her, no, I can't let you have this till mm. the holidays. Mm. Because it's school, when you get there, it's against the rules. So to explain to her she's smart, she would understand. And it was done without my knowledge. I <laughs> came back and I found that she had done it. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> have a talk with her. She'll be fine. Okay. But you gave her permission. She, I she told you she wouldn't have a birthday every day. I did, I did not know that she would take it. I did not know that she would Next time, ask for more information. <laughs> Nima, I, I don't understand. So I is looking at me. Yes. I'm obvious. And this I'm not feeling bad. I had to force more. Thank you, Super Tom, for this parfait. Yeah. What is happening here? Kuli I so I, I had the bit of the parfait. It had Kuli Kuli inside. Kuli Kuli, you know the Kuli Kuli. Why don't I have it? My own is, why don't I have a cup in front of me? Yeah, why, is, a, why is Nima the only person? Higher. <laughs> ah, like that. And then, hey, I need to do a shout out. Okay. So it's our in-laws birthday. It was her birthday yesterday. Mrs. Moren Nike Omosano. That's Bumi, um, our uh, Producer. producers. Mother-in-law, oh. because your sister-in-law is your mother-in-law. Let's not be Happy birthday, mom. Happy, Happy birthday, mom. Thank you for treating us so well. I, I like the way Bumi looks. Yeah. I see that she's well pampered by her in-laws. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday, mom. At Many least more. I do in-laws. Uh, uh -huh. I do in-laws now. Because the way you're you are very nice yes. people, you mm -hmm. know. <laughs> and as her mother-in-law, she should be leaning for me, but she's always bullying me. <laughs> oh, you know, nothing just... much. Oh, I've just um, resumed um, coaching. You know, I decided How to give this? out um, free coaching sessions to about 10 people. I had uh, 26 apply. And I didn't want to turn anybody back. So I just had to share them. So I resumed yesterday. I worked till 11 p.m. Mm. yesterday just to meet up because I want to finish everything in February. Okay. So how is your uh, spirit? Because I know that when you coach, people, people have a lot to share. There's yeah. a lot of stress in this country. Yeah. It can weigh you yeah. down. So like... Now, before I do the coaching, I've already... You prepare yourself. I prepare mentally, myself yeah. for my meditation and everything. So I'm, no, I'm in a good place outfit. right now. Thank you. I think it's so <laughs> fine. Now. We can't see all the swag of the dress. She took my spot. Get into social media. <laughs> You'll see it after the show. What she looks like. I need to sleep. Children's project is not for the children, it's for the parents. I'm but I'm you. excited about this one because my husband and I worked together on this project till about 12 midnight. I wow. started again 6 a.m. this morning. We were doing research together. It was very... Mm -hmm. I said, if I anything, this, this project research. got me and my husband to work extremely well together. So mm -hmm. shout out to Romodel School Wendo for punish, punishing me. I don't I'm agree with this. We'll go on a break project. right now. Honestly, me I too. Don't. Same here. Um, but the kids enjoy sense. it. Yeah, the ones doing the work. Yeah. <laughs> so what are When we return... We'll breeze through the paper. It's just in Thursday, and really, I don't want to take anything serious. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with us, we'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. So, Mayam said there are many important things happening in this country we cannot afford to breeze through. So we'll start with the nation. Major headline, reps to Buhari declare emergency on security. Community leaders support crucial ending to insurgency, says Buhari, and 21 killed in Kaduna community clash. Pope rejects proposal to ordain married men as priests. Man kills wife. And high life maestro, Victor Olaya dies at 89. The musician passes on at Luth. Our heart goes out to the entire family. 
of the Victor Olaya is a legend by all standards. You want to take the story, Mariam? Which no, of the stories? No, Victor Olaya by Hadun Pope. Pope. Yeah. So the, the Catholic um, Church, the Pope <coughs> has made a declaration. Okay, there's this, the priest in the um, Lat in Latin America had proposed that for areas where we, especially because they, there's shortage of priests in remote areas, maybe they should ordain married men as priests. Mm. And the Catholic Church has cancelled that because, of course, we know that one of their founding, um, found, their foundation is on celibacy. Yeah. So they've cancelled that. A lot of factions, that they say this has divided the church because mm -hmm. this pope seems to be very forward thinking. And liberal. So mm -hmm. he accepts divorcees back into the Catholic fold and he's looking into the issues of um, abuse, sexual, and sexual abuse and molestation of priests on children. Mm -hmm. So they were expecting that this would be he one would more off. thing that yeah. he would sign off on. But it's a no-no for now. Oh. I agree with them to stick mm. to their foundation. Yeah. We have, mm. for those who want uh, priests that are married, you go to the Anglican side what of it. But to the man this that particular man, a 42-year-old man, a Giro Patrick, yesterday allegedly beat his wife to death. Mm -hmm. They had an issue over, I think they were supposed to sell some of the properties and the wife did not remit 5,000 naira mm? to him. And so he got upset, he punched her till she collapsed. And by the time she was taken to the hospital, she had died she had lost her life Jesus. and um she he's in custody at the moment investigations are ongoing i just don't know how we can teach people to okay. handle yes control and anger management control. i saw a video yesterday you know, it could scary. it be the poverty a man two, two men fighting and he took a rock and hit the other one's head i it's wish i can forget it it's anger, in nigeria it's anger, and people anger. were shouting by the sides they and they watched the, boy, the second person die full-grown men wearing like clean t singlet they are res responsible looking men we need to learn to control our anger. and like we many things can frustrate you but yeah. don't end up in jail over this issue moving on okay. to the punch ah major headline resident boo buhari boko haram attacks <laughs> Borno capital sent troop to Sambisa Forest, Lake Chad, Lake Chad, and Governor Zulu tells President Showare, Shoyinka in court, George fines federal government 200,000 naira. In other news, one billion oil barrels found in Northeast, <coughs> that's from the federal government, Lagos Badagri Highway must remain 10 lanes, that's from Sonwolu. <coughs> Workers stranded as Lagos Ibado road gridlock worsens. High life star Victor Olaya <laughs> dies at 89 in Lagos. Panel alleges National Assembly risk possible attacks. Amosun, loyalist forgiven, stoning at Buhari's campaign rally. That's from Abiodun. <clears throat> um, Ogun, Ekiti Esco's OK. Amoteko bill proposal, and finally, stop keeping quiet about Nigeria's problem, Sultan tells monarchs. So what story are we going with? So I wanted to show People quickly. Quickly. Okay. So yesterday was Showare's trial, and the trial judge justice, um, Ijoma Ojuku, fined federal government 200,000 naira for what she called frivolous and time-wasting of the court, uh, court and, un and an uncalled-for behavior. So this, the, the, um, you know, adjourned for, for over seven weeks, under which, after the uh, Attorney General took over the case from the DSS, and he attempted to amend the, tri the charges to two from the number of charges they had earlier. And he was supposed to have served it on the defense, so they prepared their defense, but he was serving it yesterday morning on the accused, on the suspect in Nima, court. What, what can we do to EFCC lawyers or DSS lawyers, who is this lawyer I'm representing, mm -hmm. that are wasting court time? What's the penalty this, to them? No, yeah. this, is, this is one of such. Mm -hmm. So when the judge cannot take it, you know, she'll find costs of that on, okay. the, on that on the prosecution, which is what she's done. She finds that on the prosecution and they are going to proceed. She's adjourned to next Thursday mm -hmm. to proceed with trial so that they will sit up. But you know, I, because, it's the, prepare. because it's the federal government. No, they had seven weeks. Yes, seven weeks yeah. that they can not And they didn't do, they didn't serve. Moving on to the Nigerians are suffering. Yes. People are striking. dead, yes, yesterday. You know, at it the seems to me that they are struggling to find a charge to place this. So if you are struggling, 
Why not just, you know, agree? This is the attorney general. He can enter not only prosecute and stop this old mess from going on. So he has so, the power. Yeah, so people were, uh, workers were stranded yesterday at a Lagos Sibadon Expressway because um, there was a, an accident that happened on that road and um, a truck was overspeeding, lost control and hit. So there were also other trucks that were parked along the road. Mm. The traffic was really major. People, workers had to turn back and go home. Some of them couldn't make it to their offices anymore. So they are appealing to the federal government to hurry up Julius, uh, is it Bega or Beja, to finish up the work on that axis so that people can have an easy life. Mm -hmm. So before we move on, one billion oil barrel for, were yeah, found so, in. Yeah, the Minister for State for Petroleum, um, um, uh, what's the Mr. Silva, was during a press briefing was talking about just the state of our petroleum um, sector. It says really a lot of investment hasn't been coming into that sector because of the fiscal environment. That's our fiscal policies haven't been so accommodating. Like the, the bill. bill has been, you know, delayed for years and years and years and is hoping now that in six months it may be passed. And in addition, he talked about um, about a billion barrels found in the northeast. He says they're understanding the geographical location of this place and it seems that there's even much more undiscovered resources wow. beneath in, in the, the northeast. northeast. But so, they should first end the crisis. Yeah, and he was saying that he was saying something about numbers. He says from 2007 we used to have, uh, we used to be able to produce like 37 barrels mm. and it's 20, 20 Till 2017, it's just that 7.5 billion barrels. It's going down. So just going not that it's gone down, but there's really no marginal major, yeah, major growth. Since. Moving <coughs> on to Daily Sun, major headline Constitution Amendment, Senate to revisit 2014 Confab report, mm -hmm. security alert at National Assembly. And you can't miss the picture of Shore with um, <laughs> Walesho um, Yinka, Senator Sheo Sani at the Federal High Court yesterday. Boko Haram, Buhari Storms Maduguri expresses shock. Blames community <coughs> leaders for attack. Rep seek state of emergency in security. Ogun, Ondo approved draft bill on Operation Amotekun. Federal government set up three coronavirus center, <coughs> test centers. Suspends power purchase agreement for AKK project. After Buhari's visit, Boko Haram hits Bono. Uh, and our final story on this paper, IGP Southeast leaders meet on security. So, constitutional amendments, so they are revisiting. It's as if they watched <laughs> our show and decided to just... So, in fact, <laughs> they will put up follow our recommendation. Mm. So, the Senate um, Deputy President and um, the chairperson of the amendment committee has come out to talk about what they will be doing. And, of course, they said they'll be relying largely on the 2014 CONFAB report to, to, you know, to form the basis for areas that they would um, amend. And he also talked about, you know, of course, again, the evolution of powers, um, autonomy for the local government, mm. and all those other issues that, that we we've mentioned. raised. In fact, they talked about, you know, the sixth uh, schedule to the constitution on areas of exclusive and, you know, um, um, concurrent. I think, uh, I think they watched our yeah. show. Yeah. And just we are hoping that when they finally do this, I, I'm looking, seriously looking for, because in fact, they're talking the about pre-election matters as well. Oh, wow. So I'm looking seriously forward to the, the, new the, the amendment review. I'm hoping uh, there's a okay. gavel and all those virus. other shows will be so watching. Coronavirus, so we have test centers now. Yes. Federal government has um, established three centers, Lagos, Abuja, and Irua. And they said that they also have <coughs> acquired reagents that will help them test for presence of coronavirus. That they've actually even tested, but nothing yet. You know, not nothing yet, God forbid, that there's nothing. <laughs> we don't have it here in Nigeria. I watched a video of that point protecting themselves. Yes. Like, wow. So, so the what they have, they say they have like two major points, you know, of contact. Mm -hmm. So the port is their first line of operation when mm -hmm. you get there. And then the second line is the centers for disease control. Mm -hmm. But they say they have the machines already. They are just been waiting for reagents. So it seems that we're Fantastic. Yeah, in another news quickly, in prepared. addition to that, there, mm -hmm. there was a rumor going around that um, coronavirus had hit Lagos. Mm -hmm. So the ministry uh, carried out an investigation. They said it, it, they, they, they've suspected about six Chinese um, nationals who have been treating it themselves. So they went to... Um, Egbeda area carried out investigations, mm. asked around, they didn't find any of the Chinese nationals. So they are saying that if you have any information, you can just reach out to the Ministry of Health. Hopefully, they will self quarantine if they have anything. Moving on to the Vanguard, major headline Boko Haram hits Maduguri as Buhari <laughs> visits, runs into storm. And in other news, um, there's a picture of, I think, Buhari's visit to, Buhari's condolence visit to Borno. He has Buhari and the governor, um, Governor Babagana Zulum. And the Shewu of Borno, um, His Royal Majesty, right, Abubakar. So, in other news, 
Constitutional Review will, cons will consider 2014 CONFAB report, says Senate, Kanu's parents barrier don't trigger armed struggle. IPOP warns army and the police. Obaseki denies involvement in attack on APC members' <coughs> residents. Showore caught orders federal government to pay 200,000 naira fine over frivolous adjournment. And family of 11, many others burnt alive as bandits attack Kaduna village. That's a really sad story. Yeah, and I have that story. Um, so 21 people, include a family of 11 in Giwa local government area of Kaduna state, have been killed by Boko Haram bandits. So first of all, this group of vigilante had come together to attack these um, bandits in the bushes. So they, were, so they were on the offensive. But on their way there, the bandits attacked them <coughs> instead, killed them, chased them back into the villages. And, and, burnt. and just set the whole village um, shooting at different places and different people. Then went to this person's, um, and then this particular home with about 11 of his family members in that house. Mm -hmm. That house was set ablaze. Okay. There were children and women in the house. So oh my God. This in all of this, where were the security smart. operatives? Uh, yes, because it's it today. <sighs> Moving on, um, Kanu, yes. who's burying his so, wife, his mother? Um, uh, Kanu's parents are going to be buried in Umwa here tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And um, IPOB is saying that they've been receiving threats ahead of time that uh, the Nigerian army and police will come there and trigger, you know, trigger and you know kill the mourners and all of that. So they are appealing and warning the federal government that so far so good though. They have been quiet. They have not carried arms against the security officials. That burial ground should not, they don't want to see security officials there. And I want to appeal with them as well. Please. They should leave them to bury their dead. I don't, I, I, I shouldn't, no we shouldn't hear, no shooting. We don't want to hear somebody They shouldn't dies. even be around that area just by just having a peaceful burial. And they should respect that. It might turn into a protest anyway. Mm. Moving on to Daily Trust, our last paper for today. We need to take the story. Outrage over insecurity. Buhari booed in Borono. President should visit should visit should Anu. Have visited Anu. Should have visited Anu. That's from the residents. 36 governors, PDP camp speaks. Husband, two wives, six killed. Um, among, I mean, six kids among 21 killed in Kaduna. Mm. And the reps ban forcing commuters to pass night on highways. This is a major story. So the president yesterday, after returning from Ethiopia, visited Bono and paid homage uh, to the, to the yeah. show of Bono. And they were shouting, you know, why are you here now and all sorts. And um, of course, as expected, he visited the show and, and like Tokma took in one of the papers, he, he, he also sort of blamed the traditional rulers for what is happening. But this is, <coughs> for the, in the paper in the um, Daily Trust, this is about pe the people blaming the security agents for shutting out um, Meduguri Gate mm. without they themselves being outside and leaving people helpless. So, they so the security men protect attack. themselves. So I think that in itself is worth investigating for the president before any reaction. I think all reactions should now be based with a deep level of human, uh, humanness and you know, humility. Empathy. Empathy towards people whose lives have been lost. Every reaction that goes back and forth on, on how many I mean, deaths it, on no, it's, it's unnecessary. What has happened has caused Nigerian lives to be taken, and it should be investigated. And if anybody is found wanting for taking such a decision recklessly, that person should pay the consequences. So at the, at the end of the day, it be every the, more people are clamoring. More people are clamoring for the sack of the service the chief, chief. Yes. because yes. really there's a whole lot that needs to be they done. Probably were not even in Meduguri at the time. Maybe they were somewhere in Abuja giving orders. I think that should, alone should be investigated. Yes. Yes. Well, our heart goes out to everyone serious. that lost their life in uh, Borono and even in ah. Kaduna. All the skills taking place. Every Everywhere. We just keep praying for peace. Next, our guest, we have a guest appearance from Toleram Group. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned, your view will be right back. Welcome back to your view. Thanks for staying with us. This segment is brought to you by I Hypo. <laughs> Joining us on the show to talk about how to prevent Lassa fever and other diseases in this sponsorship, sponsored um, um, and product placement, is a sponsorship and product placement manager. Geez, I've been just with the sponsorship and product. One is just English. Forget that. Wow. Forget that. I, should, I, should, I should treat you with respect. 
Come on. Okay, and me, I would be welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. To the most beautiful women in Nigeria that have Oh, me God. <laughs> okay, it's a day Thank to Valentine's. Yeah. I hope <laughs> you can He's testing his lyrics. No problem. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> We've been engaging you. Please join the show by asking us questions through 070 8066 8014. It's a show on the screen. Call the number. Or you could tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC. Before we came on air, we were talking to you, which is why I was saying, ah, I didn't know I was talking yeah. to Oga. <laughs> that you have gone around all the areas True. that have outbreak of Lassa fever. What exactly were you looking for? Okay, so Lassa fever is um, currently one of the in in Nigeria now that everybody is trying to fight you know, against. And I'm sure we all know, let me, let me say this first, that it will shock you that Lassa was actually first detected in, in Bono State, mm -hmm. in a village called Lassa. Lassa. I don't think you've ever heard that before. We have. Yes, I have. So it was, we have. It was true, you know, my, it was true this outreach and all the awareness I've been doing that mm. I found this out. Mm. You know, so last week um, we, okay, currently we have a collaboration with Nigerian Center for Disease Control. Okay. That's in um, the national head. And uh, we have a mandate to go across the locations where this disease is actually happening mm. to create um, awareness and give out materials. Mm. So I, last week, um, Thursday, we were in, um, uh, Accra South, the main market where they had this issue. Mm. Um, we also visited Owa, where we had cases, about 14 cases. Mm. Um, we visited um, Ekuma community, and that was on Thursday. Um, Lagos market, we are carrying, creating awareness. Um, we're also in Abuja with NCLC team. What do you mean by awareness? Now, the awareness we're doing, we're, we're sharing um, flyer materials, you know, uh, like detailed basic information that any man, any, anybody would read, a layman would read and, you know, understand. really understand what Lassa Fever is all about. People just think it's English. Mm. But majorly, we're trying to make them understand that, like, see, ordinary ekutele, rat, <laughs> rat, mm. when rat touches on your food, you That's know. Dangerous. And, um, you know, in these places where it's quite prevalent, mm. something, we're just trying to make them understand all the things mm. and trying to ensure that, like, hypo is all about hygiene because you'll be wondering what hypo is doing mm. with Lassa Fever. Mm. Mm. You know, I know, you actually know Hypo is a bleach mm. um, brand, and it's all, we speak hygiene, we speak clean environments, we speak um, everything about good health. So you how know. do you use your product to help prevent or fight? Yes, so you know, um, rats are always around dirty environments. Mm -hmm. They're always environments that are not clean, that, that probably um, people just tend to touch themselves without washing their hands. And mm. you know, so for us, we're giving back to society by giving out these products for free. Mm -hmm. okay. Free? Yes. Wow, and we're currently good. printing about 3 million flyers for the government. Mm. Oh, wow. Saying in all these areas, we are educate. giving out these um, products. Today we're supposed to be with somebody from the NCDC also here, but they're in Abuja. They're currently having different uh, meetings and um, awarenesses going across, so they couldn't make it down here today. Mm -hmm. But we'll definitely still come with them. My concern is the areas where these diseases did not start from, where the centers for control are located. So, Iroa in Edo State, I think, uh, um, accommodates the Lassa um, Center and then the, the Center for Disease Control in Yaba. What exactly are you doing to help the people in those communities who have okay. been exposed innocently to diseases they, that are strange to their communities? Because okay. of so the research. government cannot do it alone. Mm -hmm. No matter how, um, you know, the awareness, everybody needs to be involved. <laughs> And that's why we felt from the hypo side, it's just like a CSR, mm -hmm. you know, giving back to society. Mm -hmm. We're helping the government to print um, flyers. We are putting banners across several places. Corporate social and responsibility. also giving out products. Products to clean your environment, products to wash your environment, products okay. to wash your hands, you know. Um, just try to ensure that everywhere is quite clean and safe. Mm -hmm. So far in this state, we've deployed over um, 30,000 cartons so far mm -hmm. to different locations. You know, it's happening every day. Today also we're in seven states doing the same awareness with the government, you know, going across different locations, making noise, um, giving teaching out, the, people. teaching people. And we are not just, you know, um, taking the speakers and shouting. Mm. We're doing a one-on-one -on -one talk. Mm -hmm. In Wose Market last week on Saturday, I remember we were with uh, people from NCDC and also our management. We entered the market <coughs> to the chicken side. Mm, I remember okay. we went to the Maggi side. We went to the Kilichi side. Mm. I worked with over anyway, you know, <laughs> went to those locations. And we engaged these um, Aousa guys, the Malas, the Yorubas, everybody. We spoke to them, trying to explain, look at this environment, for goodness sake. It's quite dirty. Mm. And the funniest thing is, um, if you... If you have a one-on-one -on -one contact with someone who is infected already, mm -hmm. it's so easy that you could just get it like that. Yeah. Mm. You know, 
Well, I was explaining to someone about that, I even just I, I avoid kissing for now. And the guy was saying, ah. well, if you He's can. Valentine. Because, Valentine. <laughs> well, well, Valentine, but why not just sustain your life and try to live healthy and okay. not die in a short that, while because of so Valentine? you can do plenty of Valentine. I disagree. You know, so even location <laughs> where you're having um, these prevalent things, I advise people, stop shaking people anyway at this moment. Mm. Try to cover your food. Become like avoid. Nima, just be doing like this. But you shook me now. You can I'm in Lagos and person. I'm quite clean. I'm okay. I'm going to I, wash I, my I, hands <laughs> when I finish this show. <laughs> which is advice for yeah, everybody. So I, I, I'm more concerned about um, the product itself because I know it's a bleach and yes. I understand the fact that it's used to clean and wash. But yes. when it comes to washing of hands, do people have like any other products that you use for that? Or how do you handle the hypo Okay, you know, hypo actually has, hygiene. we have the toilet cleaner, we have the bleach itself. But I'm here to talk about the bleach. Okay. I know most people know about toilet cleaner. It's okay. used for, mm. it kills, it cleans, makes the toilet seat very clean. Okay. And that's what I, but for, for the bleach, now it kills 99.9% germs. Okay. It's been scientifically proven and we have all the documents to back it up. Okay. So we believe that an example is if you wash your environment, clean the tables, um, wash your white, you can see how sparkling white I'm looking at when you <laughs> back. You know, if you do all these things with hypo, it helps you leave um, an hygiene life. Mm. You know, and it's so funny that like just for 20 hygiene. naira. Mm. So, please, can you just confirm what not to do with it? So, do you pour it directly on your hands? Do you bath with it? So, what not to do with okay, it? Okay, we've had several cases school, about like people saying to us that, like, you know, that hypo, they use it to kill weak load, they use it to do several things. So, so see, hypo is so safe that it doesn't harm, it won't harm you. Mm. It has no um, bad effects. Okay. If I would just a little quantity inside the water, you don't have to pour all the 20 nights like it. Oh, just okay. a little quantity, you can, you know, wash an entire house. Okay. Because it's quite very effective. So, yeah, so the, um, you know, the challenge is that we have 195 cases. We've had 29 deaths. Yes. Yes, and we have, yeah. it's in 11 states so far. If people live in this area, people living in these states that already have it, what would you say they be, be their everyday activity? They work, mop the floor with hypo, mop, mop the... Are you saying people that already have it? Yes. No, people that live in the area space. where it's already happening. Where it's already. Mm. Okay, so one of the greatest awareness we are doing is at least have the basic information. Mm. Have the basic knowledge that this is here and it's no joke. You know, and I'm glad the government have facilities across several locations. The moment when you start feeling headache, and you've used, um, you've gone for medication and it's not working, please visit the nearest facility. That's the most, that's what we can Let me ask you for, because now you've mentioned facility. What in your um, tour around Nigeria, how many primary health care centers do you see that are operating in the areas oh, that you mentioned? This. You know what, particularly? Or okay, so that I'm aware see? that currently the government has um, a facility in Owa now that people are referred to. Mm. Well, the villagers are still quite scared. Mm. That is it expensive? Is it this? You know, people don't want to come out. They're too scared. That, like, will they quantize me somewhere? Oh, okay. In court. That's you know, okay. so for us, we're just trying to give them the basic knowledge. Mm. And when we come from the brand perspective and give them the product as an incentive, mm. they get okay. relaxed and they oh, get to listen okay. to us. Better. Because just putting them in a place and trying to shout to them and saying, come, let's talk about Lassa. People don't get to turn up. Mm. When they see free products, oh, goodness. Mm. You know, we see them in large numbers. <laughs> oh, yeah, and we true. use that as an incentive to, to explain to these guys. Fantastic. And in fact, we've had Fantastic. cases, like in Epoma, for example, I saw several people asking me for numbers that they could call. Mm -hmm. Oh, to report. Yes, to report. That's, that's good. Right. That, that's report. good. So we, we also doing, this segment is sponsored by Hypo, and we are happy with what you're doing. We just want to keep reminding people, clean every environment, clean the banisters. So when you hold the railings, always clean the railings, clean the doors to your toilet and all of the things. Areas where you can easily contact Gems. Hypo will help you with that. Thank you for what you're doing, and thanks Thank for you, coming to the show. Thank you, madam. All right. We'll take a quick break. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Same thing. Thanks for staying with us. So, you know, Jejeli, we always sit down <coughs> and the social media will just bring up something. Mm -hmm. So, we want your opinion on this story that trended. It is, is it proper for a lady to build her own house before marriage if she can afford it? Or should she wait until she's married? Or should she tell a fiancé? Or should she keep it a secret mm. until after the marriage? Joining us on the show is a comedian. His name is Bukumi Precha. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Join the conversation by calling us on 70 
8066-8014. And you can tweet to us at TBC Connect. Please hashtag your view TBC so we can hear from you. So when I saw this, I said, there's all this, 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 I always say, this, 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 always say. But sometimes we can't over discuss these things because somebody's watching us might be about to make this exact decision mm -hmm. and is confused. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with Bukumi, yeah, our guest. <laughs> what would you do if you find out mm -hmm. that somebody you are about to marry is building a house? Mm. Or has built. Or has built a yeah, house. house. Mm -hmm. How would you feel about it? Like, because they always say we don't get a man's perspective. Mm -hmm. let's, let's hear what um, a man would feel about this kind of situation. First of all, um, thanks for having me. Um, I will start this Thanksgiving service. Because, you see, um, <laughs> it makes life very easy. Mm -hmm. um, one would chase 1,000 receipts, mm -hmm. two, 10,000. Mm -hmm. But I, I have a joke. I used to tell my friends that um, if I have a witch as a girlfriend, we just negotiate. You see, next one to get my matter to the Kovuno. Mm -hmm. There's no point fighting you. You mm -hmm. can help my matter. Mm -hmm. And um, you see, Wisdom. this generation, we must know that we need to. I remember that there was a point in my father's life that he had problem, if not for my mother's you know, savings, mm -hmm. we would. <laughs> Education would even stop. So without marriage, a woman has a life. Mm. Without, if you are not getting married, you should have your own life, you should have your own. As a matter of fact, anybody without head should not get married. Hey, because well. you, must, no, you must bring beyond, um, I'm not TV Beauty. words now. Hey, um, you really must bring beyond course. year and year. Uh, because, <laughs> to the marriage. <laughs> because you see now, that's not what would get you. Mm, but no. Because you everybody has that. Even if you don't know, have, they can buy it. You can buy it. <laughs> but, you see, the, <laughs> Let's get to the serious matter. So you want, so for me, you have a house, you are building one. Mm. That's amazing because you have a land in Lagos. I'm not building yeah. anything. <laughs> <That's laughs> my, 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 uh, see what I like? I was telling you, this is my favorite person because you know how to say this thing the way it is because yes, it, is. it must be beyond vision because after all these things, everything that you are bringing will go down at some mm. point. No. Like, um, Let's not, and even for, for man to this thing will come out, mm. the air will go in. Mm. That means it's, it goes beyond That's the blue at some That point. happens to men. That happens to men. That's um, that goes down to. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a breakfast show. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I didn't say anything. She didn't have to. But see, the, the idea is, without marriage, you have a life. Mm. So, and the point that we are getting married late now, mm. so start your life so that in case the man comes, you are coming to the table with something. Ew. See, how do you feel when you come to a table? Deep. The food is ready. Mm. And you are eating. You don't even want to chew the chicken. You don't very chew well. very well. Chew the bone. Yeah, calm down. <laughs> you are very correct to me. I'm on your side. Thank you. you see, we are sitting together. There are those, <laughs> in fact, I'm on your side. <laughs> even in the argument. But there are those um, situations where you start to ask, ha, how old is the woman? What, how many years is she put in? Mm. What did she just, how did she just arrive that money and she's building a house already? Where, when exactly do you start to question that? Do you bother? Or should you even no. bother? And when do you start to question? Oh, you should question. Is it when your mother starts to ask you? <coughs> hey, that's just why boys should not marry. Daddy. Marriage is for men, not boys that report to their mothers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> see, see. It's, it's, it hey, goes, I'm, I'm sure my mother is watching this. She knows mm -hmm. that uh, my, you don't have a say except for advice. Mm -hmm. Your, your, what your, she's sitting down seeing. No, she's seeing it. I'm not joking. She's seeing it. What she's sitting down seeing, you cannot stand. That's because stand what I can see. see, she might not be able to see it. See, mm -hmm. times have changed. Change. No, not yeah. only that. Because see, soon. if you ask your child about it. a particular situation, mm. you see differently at five than you see at 15. Yes. At 50. Yes. Because different life is in stages. Yes. The, the only it affects us are different. Mm. Now, I will question. Mm. I will ask questions. Ah, babe, this one that you have, because even me as a man now, I have, one land, Lagos. I'm not doing it. I'm struggling. But let's not forget that maybe she's more educated than me. Mm. Mm. Maybe she she has a better job, mm. or she has she's, she's, no, she's prudent okay. with money. Mm. Mm. Just mm. have friends that does uh, this. Uh, there's money in hell. I don't mm. know if people ah, yeah, yeah. We spend money, man. All of us. I have yeah. friends selling, mm. and I know how much she does in a month. No. Mm. So you can't come into her life now and say, ah, where did you get the money? Say, ah, more money to you. Oh, you know She gets. I would question that. I will but, ask you. But, but let me let me throw this to Mariam because you see, at the end of the day, <coughs> some women struggle with the fact that the fact that they are wealthy is it, it's, it makes some men insecure. Like a and it's it's it will it will be like why how come you are achieving you are achieving so much success before the man and it might not even get you in the door. Men like to be heroes, mm. and they like to feel like they are taking care of their wife or their babe. So when the babe is richer, shouldn't she hide some of these resources so that the man will feel like I'm also doing something? You see that 
question. I'm even the wrong person to have addressed that because I do not understand why you would feel insecure. And I do not understand why you <coughs> hide anything. First of all, when you come into the marriage, open and full disclosure, this is who I am. Basic. And this is what, what I, I do. So you don't and support <coughs> keeping it a secret? Of course not, because mm. one, for me, if I'm the man, if I find that you're keeping it a secret, I might be questioning the source of the wealth or the mm. source of the, is right. it, are you ashamed of the way you got it? Mm. So I don't know why you should hide it. But you know, I was trying to say something earlier. When I was much younger, like when we were teenagers, would hear our older aunties when they're talking among themselves they'd be like, ah, why would she get a husband when she has a car mm. or when she's in that big <coughs> job but now that i'm older the conversation has changed so yes. sometimes uh, i feel like people we have grown on niger we have they improved from they they how we why. used to be good so people <laughs> are having the sort of conversations i hear mm. is it's different do do you be hardworking? make your investments and do well. Mm -hmm. And then the man will meet you wherever he meets you. And see a young man like this, I was going to ask the question I wanted to ask, I said, when you go on social media, mm -hmm. the sort of conversations you hear men say, the sort of things they say, is not like what you're saying. So where oh, did I'm you from come from? from this part from? of the world. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You see, we come from come back from this <laughs> short break. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So this conversation has been very interesting. I know, I knew BC before BC became the BC. You hey. know? So we then we were you? modeling together. And there's this belief of and we know she and I. We know some friends. <laughs> yeah, exactly. we, we know some you. friends that were doing. They were doing <laughs> things mm. that were of questionable, you know, intent. Mm -hmm. No, this, the resources to okay. do it mm. were questionable. Okay. So sometimes, even when you have it, some women will not do it because, by association, it will look like where did you get that money from? You, when you were modeling and all of that, what was your thought towards ambition? Because we didn't, we were not allowed to get too ambitious. We were yeah. allowed to, we were told to <coughs> wait till after, like Marriage. when you marry, you go do everything for inside yeah. husband house. Yeah. How, how has that been from where you're coming from and now? No. And what would okay. you advise people to do? Okay, so what I see is that it's a conversation for two generations. Growing up, it was more like, because of the patriarchy, mm. the man has to be seen to be the man, mm -hmm. which included providing for the home, making sure he's the one that supplies everything, so to speak. And for some tribes, the women were not even allowed to do any form of work to bring in anything. Just marry, the man will take care of you, whatever he has, you know? But, um, and then it, that, that formed us growing up. So I had the idea that it's my husband that's supposed to do the providing. And we were not too ambitious for money at that time because the thing was just go to school, come out, settle. Once they marry you, you'll be all right you know, so to speak. But now I have a new generation of men who are gaming to get a woman that has something because they have weighed it. And they've seen that when you get, you marry a woman who is not bringing in, who doesn't have as such, the struggle is more on the man's side based on society. But when you now have a woman who is working, who probably has gotten a car and all of that, it's easy for you. And the boys outside now, when they are toasting you, the first question is, where do you work? Hmm. How much do they pay you? Let's take Kasim. So the generation has changed. Yes. Let me, let me oh. ask Kasim, who called in all the way from Dublin, Ireland. Let me ask him his opinion. Good morning. Welcome to the show, Kasim. Yeah, thank you very much Kazim. Uh, for you know, bringing me in on board. Uh, my name is Kazim, and Kazim. I'm calling from Ireland. Oh. Welcome um, to the show. I want to say a very uh, thank, big thank you to you guys for a great job you're doing there. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, it's my first time calling. Woo! Welcome to the show. I watch your show and honestly, uh, I don't think there's any other program like yours in Nigeria. Woo! Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, so coming to the point that you guys are discussing there, mm -hmm. in relation to whether a, a lady should build her own house before coming into marriage, um, uh, from a pastoral perspective, I'm a pastor by calling, and uh, mm -hmm. I think <laughs> the generation we are living in, it's different from what we used to have, okay? Yeah. Where Maybe the woman is just like dumped in the kitchen and mm -hmm. get her to just look after kids and that's all. 
-hmm. Now, uh, the era we are now is that when you're coming into marriage, everybody should bring in something into that marriage because marriage is there to work. Mm. So if you, um, if, you, if you are blessed enough to have the resources that you will be in house before you get into marriage, why not do it? Go for it. Mm -hmm. So uh, don't be boxed into the fact that, oh, yeah, when I get into married and, marriage and X and Y and Z will be happening. No. Everybody has a role to play in marriage. So mm -hmm. uh, together, the Bible says the man will leave his wife, uh, his mother and his parents, and he will cleave unto his wife, and that they will become one flesh. So in other words, uh, the two of you become one. But then understanding the person you are going into a relationship with, that is not someone that is trying to marry you for what, what you, you have, have. But for who you are, yeah, okay? Thank you, Kasim. Okay. So we now have this <coughs> side where before, Women used to marry men for what they have. Now, men are marrying women for what they have. Marry each other for what we have. <laughs> oh. Everybody. Everybody's contributed to the. Mm -hmm. You have a question. I wanted to ask me um, this same question. Because when she mentioned her auntie saying that, you know, there were so some who said to women, don't even bother acquiring. Mm. Or, or if you do, make it sacred because you should not even go and die for your property. Those are some of the extreme cases. So what would you do? Knowing <coughs> that you're marrying somebody you've not known for Ever. that's not your family member, a stranger, when you have such properties, are you just going to go and marry hand over? What mm. you have mm. inside the marriage. Mm. I love you. Okay. I'm disclosing. It's food disclosure. And I give yeah, you the key. You're handing over mm. everything no. to the man or well, her. Well, you know what? I wanted to say it's marriage, but then I just remembered um, <coughs> Nima's story is quite different. Nima didn't court for long. Mm -hmm. So, of course, for she you, don't marry. you just got married without... Mm sort of seriously knowing, knowing the person, your you just believe, you, okay. you did not cut. So now. for me, a lot of people take time <laughs> to understand each other. Each other. Yeah. So before you're opening up, to, I'm not saying the first day I meet you, hey, do you I know I have a house? Of course, we are, uh, yeah. you know, we are adults here. Conversation will lead to conversation. Yeah. And you're even looking, you, you drop one or two things that you have, and then you see the person's reaction. Mm. It's even from how you drop this, you know, ah, this one is just a greedy person mm. that wants something. Wants to you collect. Know? So there's time Seriously, to do it. I can't no, believe women are having this conversation. Women have been married for ages with the intention of inheriting property from their husband. So now, okay, so <laughs> let me come to you. See, <laughs> the, the thought now is if a girl has something and she's going into the marriage, she's also worried that this man is marrying me for what I have. Mm. Same way men used to worry about what they have. Are we going to get into the generation where we'll start saying, we have this um, pre, pre, uh, prenup, prenup. Okay. and have an agreement that everything I bring into the marriage remains my own, and everything you bring into marriage remains your own. Or yeah. what, what? 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 What is the future of marriage? Because it's worrisome. Before all of this, our parents had less div um, divorce rates, but now, any small thing. I won't go. I'm but done. It, 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 it doesn't really mean they enjoy the marriage because Thank before you. this prenup you know, thing, that's the reason why someone would die and a family will come and take everything, and take everything away. Mm -hmm. But the husband will just wake up one day and say. Um, you see, not that yes, I'm old, that you have. and let's have a new, there's a new chick somewhere mm -hmm. that's taking over the family and mm -hmm. everybody's suffering. Mm -hmm. But what if, uh, see, the idea of Zawada room is go, going away. How mm -hmm. many wives now do you have a uh, uh, full house wife? Very few. Everybody's uh, working. Everybody's working. So mm -hmm. it's, I bring this to the table, and I think this generation for me, everybody is independent. Yeah. You have right. this, you have this. We want to solve this together, yeah. we solve it together. Mm -hmm. We want to Team play this work. together, we do it together. <clears throat> but this mm -hmm. is my own, this is your own. I need your help on this. Okay, help me with this, but let's We are not discussing Nest of King, that's why. We are not discussing from Magodo. We don't go to Nima. Nima likes to take us to corners that we don't want to go. Taya, welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning, Taye. Okay, my name is Taye calling from Magodo. I am a first time caller. Woo! Yes, I really enjoy your program. Thank you. And I will commend you girls for it. Uh, Ladies, girls, girls, it's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, for this topic is a very important topic to me <clears throat> because even my wife earns three times more than I do. Mm. And how does that make you feel? Ah, uh, very good. <laughs> I never ask her for one day how did she spend her salary, mm. and I still give her the monthly allowance. So mm. I don't see anything bad about that. Yeah, it's a very clear. <laughs> <laughs> So, and when we are about to get married, at least she gave me like 1.5 million for me to organize some things to do. Imagine. So I don't see anything. Uh, we need to applaud bullies. your wife. Oh. Yeah, we, we need to see more women like this. I wanted to. Yes. Okay. 
He's not done. Okay, I'm with Good. you. We, we applaud your wife. That was what we were doing. Okay, she's. Thank you, Taye, for calling. Yeah, I wanted to um, take it off from where Nima dropped it, that when you now finally get married as a woman with your properties, your money, do you hand it over to the man? What do you advise, life coach? <laughs> <laughs> it depends. Uh, I'm not one for... Women, when is your... When is my own, is my own. When is your own, is our own. own. I, I wouldn't subscribe to a woman handing over everything because I've seen how that panned out for some oh, people who became touch. unlucky at the end of the day. When something goes wrong in the marriage, you have given everything. In fact, I have a, a family member who practically sponsored her marriage. You know, it was her money that did everything. And then when he went the other way, she had lost everything. The guy did not even care how she was going to handle the kids, took everything. So I wouldn't subscribe to handing over everything. I, I would rather subscribe to having a conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what I'm bringing in, but mm -hmm. I should be allowed to have this as my oh, own. How about and you? And you have this as your own. And then we pull resources together. We okay. combine. How about while you're alive? You determine how it's going to go. So everybody, man and woman, as long as you have a property, do a will. Mm. So you know who is your most beloved next of kin, whoever, okay. and you put it in pro proportion so that you know what is going where. So when I got married, I, yes, I didn't cut my husband, but I had a small business and I already had funds in an account. I had about three accounts. Okay. And my next of kin was not my dad, but my brother. Mm. And then I looked at my husband, he didn't waste time in changing his own nest of kin. In fact, we married this week and in two weeks, his nest of kin was me. Mm. Mm. So, so he had to change based on that. Obviously, he, you had, to he had not, no trust issues. And I was wondering uh, who secured my family's interest. So I'd, I'd rather leave it as my brother. Mm. Oh, Do you understand? Okay. So but he, he had taken a step that that's this. I mean, laid the foundation in family. Mm. And within two months, I also went the same way. Mm. Because at that point, it's two people. Let's talk but more about that. Let's it, talk more about mm -hmm. how to... When you find yourself in this kind of situation, how you can initiate the trust you, de you desire yeah. from your partner. Yeah, yeah. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned, your view will be right back. Welcome back to your view. Thanks for staying with us. This gist has been Really interesting, but there's something else because we, we, we're discussing about women having something before getting married. But there's another thing about single women that, that becomes worrisome when they, be, when they get married. A Twitter user said that 90% of married women are bitter because they did not marry who they loved. They married who was <coughs> available and ready. ready. Do oh. you agree with that? And what do you do when you are in that kind of situation? Mm -hmm. Let me start with... Um, our guests. I have a personal Our situation. Comedian. I have a personal story yeah. on that matter. Yeah. Because you see, in, in 2009, I moved to Lagos as a young, I was a banker. I was working with the bank then before I resigned. And um, my girlfriend then was ready mm. for marriage. And um, I, wasn't, I wasn't ready mentally, financially, <laughs> physically. Physically. <laughs> <laughs> Psychologically. <laughs> but but, but, but my, my, my sister knows that I love this lady. Aww. And um, okay, she came around to Lagos, and uh, you know, as a young boy, you're a banker now, but uh, uh, you still we, want to we, go soon, we go soon the ball. No, I, was, I, was, I knew that at least money go come. We know mm. when you enter bank now, they will put you under training. Mm. The money is not that much. Yeah. There's too much property in my body, so before the money will reach my Clean body, it it's, 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 it's <laughs> time. But she went to Ibad. Of course, I came from Ibad, and um, in three months she was married. Ah. and um. Um, I'm, I'm, for are you, you sure she loved you? I'm, I'm not sure. Oh. Well, this was a, a, because we still actually still talk, chat. Mm. Oh, and um, I, 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 no, 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 I'm very okay. careful. No, I'm not available that much. Okay. So I said, <laughs> and I asked the question. So what happened? And it was like, and I was ready. Oh, ready. This man is a, is a, is a Christian, mm. is a church member. You know those, mm. you know, if you want to deceive Nigeria, put it under religion. <laughs> and um, it's easy to deceive Nigeria with religion. So he said, uh, you know, so our brother in the Lord in church, me too, I'm serving the Lord, and he was ready. That was the word. That ready. He was ready. You said you are not ready. Readiness. I said, no, I'm, I'm not ready because I, I lived in a face me and face. You are a lot of the rings now. I, I want to engage sister. Where I is never, I, 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 I had plans. Please, you wanted to waste her time. Plans. She had moved In on. months, you moved on. Now, you told me about that. Oh, this happened and that happened. I knew that. This thing was, was I don't want to 
talk about that situation now. Yeah, but, but the situation, moved, she, yeah, 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 the situation. Oh. but there's she a situation. Moved, she, yes, there's a situation. <coughs> she moved into it because she felt that, okay, I will take time. Yeah. This one is ready. Mm. I've heard that story many, many times. times. Many women under pressure leave who they love because they found who was yeah. ready. Auntie, please, let's take that question, yeah. that matter with a lot of comma yeah, inverted. Exactly. <laughs> because you might be in love. You are the only one loving. Hey. <laughs> in the relationship. You'll be ready. I, I, I have seen women <laughs> give men that are never ready in their mm -hmm. lives. Those Ten Lord of years. the Rings kind of men, Ten time years. wasters kind Pandoc of men. Pandoc you see, your men no yep. is causing you to go and do IVF and freeze your eggs. <laughs> kind of men. Yes. Wasting your time. Mm -hmm. Those ones who want to test what they did not buy. Exactly. And be saying, mm -hmm. Galen, that's a few cook for me kind of men. Mm -mm. Please, auntie, move on if that's your story. Uh, mm. But what I do not want one. is that don't move on and come and be saying you're bitter because you let the shadow of the other person to be shining inside your heart. Hey! Inside your don't make your quote today. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Move on, please. Mm. When you move on, mm -hmm. move on. Mm. Don't mm. let the shadow of the previous guy mm. come and be shining mm. inside your marriage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you launched Name. today. <laughs> Twitter, <laughs> put, put that quote there. Um, and I think that's the real problem. The real problem is that when you claim to have gone to who is ready, your heart is still with the person Which you love who wasn't, who wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. And you are building imaginative, um, Imagine. you are having imaginations what about what could have happened. Yeah. The shadow is entering. Mm -hmm. Yes, in your marriage, yeah. when you should face your marriage. Mariam, yeah. what would you advise somebody that is in that situation, bitter what? What? over what should be and what couldn't oh. be? See, yeah, there are many reasons for bitterness, and there's an, there's something many marry all marriages have their Time. issues, mm. and people go through um, periods of happiness, joy, struggle <laughs> in their marriages, but. We find people using the times where you are struggling to say, well, is it not because you didn't end up with me? Mm. Which is a lie. Mm. And may lie. not necessarily be the truth. But we use it. And it's the same way we use it for women and say, eh, when, I was, when I wanted to marry her when she was in her 20s, she didn't want to get married. Now she's in her 40s and it's she's done. begging me. You know? mm. So it's not about you or God that is on the outside. Mm. The cost of her happiness and joy. Let she, her go. Let her find it. Yes, she will find it. It's with her. Mm -hmm. She determines it and she can determine oh, how happy her. or how bitter she is in that marriage. The one on the outside is just a distraction. Yeah. But if she feels that the one on the outside deserves attention, yeah. then she should end. In the wrong place. She should end and close this relationship with the person in and go and face that and whatever the consequences are, she faces that. Yes, so in this my short life, <laughs> I've realized that love is overrated. That word, yes. Because any woman under the right conditions can love any man. Ah, oh, why are you talking my language? <laughs> can love any man. Hey, yes. Yes. Any right, woman right. I under, don't agree. When a woman is an, in an atmosphere of love and what care, she would you blow some house for love. She will blow some. No, no, hold on. She no, would no, blow some. No, no. She would love. And this the way we know, hold on. Please. What you just dropped mm. eh, is wisdom. Okay. So I want you to give us top three things that will make <laughs> yeah, that the, the, the top three <laughs> atmosphere. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you. you know, yes. Yes. Uh, when, <laughs> when a, when a know woman know. is respected, mm -hmm. a woman Respect. is okay. understood. Mm -hmm. Thank you. A woman is cared for. It may not be with money, with the little things. You pay attention She's to helped. her needs. She's helped. She's, She's supported. Aided. She's supported She's to find her goal. Exactly. That should that be that woman. That's under, understood. understood. Yes. So understood. number one, respect, respect the woman. Understood. Number two, understood the woman, understand yes. the woman. When a woman is... Number three is which one? When a woman is... I, I want to find the right word for it. Loved. But loved. But I want to... Because we are talking about love generally. Yeah. So I want to mention in a way that people would understand when a woman appreciated. is that's the word appreciated yes. so let's the little thing she does together. thank you <laughs> <laughs> appreciated mm. when that woman is in that conducive Space. that atmosphere the love will she would fall in let love me add one last she one. would love it. when she's protected protected thank you because when you have enter finish that's mm. when you start to hear my family your family, hey. family. see madame oga protect your wife yes she's not your she will fall in so love with you to bc Mm -hmm. and, and I've not even finished though. So I just started. Mm -hmm. Conducive environment <laughs> can make any love flourish. Yes. Love. Number one, respect. Yes. Number two, Understand. appreciated. Yes. Number three, understood. Yes. Number four, protected. Yes. So that love we are shouting, I did not fall in love with this one, but I married this one because this one is ready. Don't know what to that do. love is fickle. 
Mm. It fades off. Mm. Any issue can oh, come no, up and the love will fly. Honestly, yeah. it will chemistry. fly out of the Choose window. Biology, but when a woman <laughs> stays in an environment and builds and grows the love, oh, not trust the love, that love is everlasting. Is it the woman that will not show or the man that will no, not No, no, I'm just telling you, I'm talking about the woman now, now who decided to allow shadow to enter, to shine in. <laughs> but really, I don't, want us, I don't want us to think that this issue of someone dropping into marriage Doesn't because exist. of availability is just for the ladies alone. Mm. Because for guys too, mm. that happens a lot, especially when you have mommy problem. Oh. Um, when you have the issue of, ah, go and marry now, it's time no. for you to marry, mm. it's time for you to marry, you don't want to, you just don't want to disappoint your parents, you want the marriage to happen and um, mm. you feel like, oh, who is available? Who can cook mm. best? Who can cook? Hi, hi. Who can cook best? No, no, no. Your mommy would have helped you Sorry, with that one. Where, where, did, you so where, 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 where did you go to school? I say, <laughs> she's, she's so mature. You are saying things differently. He's so mature. I, I grew up in because people will tell you it's about cooking. Or? No, no, it depends. See, <laughs> no, personally, I look forward. To, the food I cannot cook is one I don't know how to eat. Mm. I promise you, mm. so it's the you one I don't know how to eat. Mm -hmm. I can cook anything. Good. Because my mother insists that in my house, my mom will say, "You don't cook, you don't eat." My mom is so. It's not wickedness. My mom is not wicked actually. But she <laughs> see, <laughs> you the way you said it, I don't believe it. You know my mom. My mom. My mom. My mom. My mom. That beats. My mom. That beats. I see that is. That's a reward for eating heaven. <laughs> 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 Let's not even go to that. We're not finish this show. See, my mom will intentionally cook in the in you know uh, amala and all of that. My mom will leave the pots. It will dry up. The, I will not, I will not wait for you that do not come to the kitchen <laughs> during cooking and say, I want you to enter. When you enter the kitchen, for the boys, we, we try the way we were young as boys. So myself and my brother, Tolu, yeah. who now want to enter. And so I want to wait. When you not come in your say, uh-uh. Your father sleep. Your father sleep has finished cooking. Come and carry your food now. You will see your food now. Then I say, okay, I told you before you carry your food, go and wash that plate. Ew. And there's nothing more difficult in life <laughs> for you to wash that to make pot. Like <laughs> so, so you, you wash it down before you eat. So hey. you make sure that you, are, you cook. You just have to. In my mm -hmm. house, I have where I sleep, sweep. I mop. My sister has her own. I'm, I'm the first child. Mm -hmm. Everybody have the Our Good little training. boy, can, you have your own portion. Mm. You must do, do it. I love your mother now, when you, you see, It's when I get to Lagos that I see. Personally, I don't like, I see on Twitter media, you see girls talk about, I don't know how to cook. Basically, personally, I don't want to marry a woman like that. Yeah. I look forward to be able to cook for my woman. I like, mm. I'm waiting to be able to, every Sunday in my hey. house, my daddy cook for Applications. For As in, no, he's so, taking. No, Ma, Are you ma, taking? Madani yes. cook. Yes, Madani cook. I'm not available. He's not available. I'm taking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Madani, ma, uh, big difference. <laughs> my daddy cook for us on Sunday. Mm. I cannot remember if my daddy's food is sweet. Mm. I can't you remember. remember that he but this is what I remember. See, mm. my mommy is very protective of our lobosa, onions, and maggi. <laughs> and, um, and the drama in my house is always that. My mom is always shouting, don't finish my maggi, <laughs> don't finish my lobosa. And I put the shouting in the house. <laughs> I'll buy another one. And I can't remember. It's, it's the, I, but that will try new together. food. Mm. We are together. So I don't know whether the food is sweet. You can remember that. that. But all I remember together. that. Daddy Your daddy did that, yeah. Us. I want to do that too. Mm -hmm. So how do we bring that oh, into so this lovely. marriage? So lovely. How do we bring that into this marriage? Because you see, Bukumi, what we're asking is bitter women, some women right now are sitting in marriage and feeling that it is bitter. I wish I had waited for the guy I love. Uh, but yeah. you were saying something, you were saying for men. For men too. That for this men. also happens to men who yes. feel that I am using circumstance that, mm -hmm. ah, I'm almost 40, mm -hmm. I must not, my parents pressure all of that. I'm not my investor, I love, there's nobody available. No. I picked the one that I cook. Add, they so, that. No, apart from that, there's something they say about men. They marry the woman of their circumstance. And, and then when circumstances change and they are, they are blown, mm -hmm. then they will now be looking for the I one that will right. Sometimes they go back. Mm. I have stories of people that are still friends. Or their exes. Benefits with their... I, was, I should have married. I should mm. have married. They are together. Oh, Before I say this, let me quickly apologize to my mom for calling her stepmom because I thought she was wicked. But mom, you are my mom. <laughs> now, on, let's talk about men who we use one woman to do ask gay and one his wife. Mm. So you would have said it's that because man. Because you allow yourself to be so used as a wife. Now, no. those men too do head. not marry their love. No. You so in reverse, I've, I've sat with one who said, ah. Yeah, oh, mommy, they lay. This one would have been the mother of all my children. She, as in, we dated. As in, we dated. <laughs> but you, you do not blink when you choose the, the good girl. If I you were saying, eh, you know, because I've slept with her eh, and you were married the virgin. So there are men mm. who sometimes deserve, mm. and women too, that punishment who deserve missing the good girl. Mm. And the punishment of a, of a trial girl. No, I want to ask Bukumi a okay. question. All right. You know that we listed 
four cardinal points <coughs> that can make <coughs> any woman yes. love any man. Love, love any, any man. man yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that extra. So I'm, I'm asking you, and I want men to call into the show. I'm, I'm wondering why you haven't called yeah, in. Yeah, enjoying Let's the show. <laughs> that is it true that if you put any woman in this situation, she will blossom? Love is something that you create. Hmm. Um, the idea of love is that you can make anything happen. You can make yeah. someone love you. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you, you can almost ruin in a home. If you, now, if for, for instance mm. now, a, a married woman, mm. there's a guy, mm. the right mm. conditions, mm. everything here mm. is, you know, you are doing it well, and your husband at home is not doing it. I promise you that one will break. Because mm. you can create love. How, how do you become a doctor? Mm. You go to a school, yeah. you learn, yeah. you do this, you and all of a sudden you're a doctor. Valentine mm. gift to all our men. Mm. Respect your wife. Yes. That's number one. Appreciate. Appreciate your wife. Mm -hmm. Understand your wife. On, under understanding, sub. Sub. Mm -hmm. Understanding sub A. <laughs> help whatever she needs. <laughs> understanding B. When pamper. you see, pamper her mm -hmm. with everything you, you have. have. Understanding C. When family members come and they are protect doing James Bond, her. protect her. Mm -hmm. This. With, with this, she will every love woman will roll on the floor for their husband. Tweet. For you. Yes. It's not fair for men. No. It's not fair. <laughs> okay, like we'll come to that. Let's take a few tweets. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Mr. PJ Comedian says, See, ladies, they hammer faster than guys. It's possible most times that a lady will be ready for marriage financially before the guy. The man. If you know, you both will be happy together and to help him to be ready. Sure. Must we be the only ones helping ladies, Biko? Let them help us. We need <laughs> help. But it's been since our mother says that the success, we behind the man's help. success is always a woman. Yes. Let's be so now nah, let the women, let the men to be the well, we had success behind. The show no. And I said his <coughs> wife gave him one point. What point. Yeah, the norm. Mm -hmm. The norm was that every man was successful because the woman just was... gave up her life so to make his the, home. This is, this is our preparing for Valentine's So now you to women. For so, women, what do we so do? So make for a man look home. Mm. Number one principle that I do, Number I cater one? to my husband. Okay. okay. Cater I cater to, to my husband. Cater as to as as I cater well. to him. Serve him. Serve him. Worship him. It's above so my he's favorite. the man. Mm. And I love to <laughs> I just love to. So I'm cooking and I'm smiling and I cannot get it wrong <clears> because I want to please. Mm. My husband with it. But when I get it strong, I'm upset with him. He knows when he's eating so that up. <laughs> you go and eat it. Something is happening ahead. <laughs> like, okay, thank you very much. Number two. But, <laughs> so somebody has to give the rest. Okay, so for, okay, go ahead. For men. Yeah, for men. See, the thing is, I think it depends on your man. So I know some a friend of mine who would say that, ah, I want to get my husband today. I'm going to make his favorite pounded yam and egg soup when I anything I want. My husband, you slave forever in the kitchen, he won't see it. Mm -hmm. But if you wear that to your <coughs> gym outfit and go on the road <laughs> jogging yeah. with him, he loves to work out. There's nothing That's you will not get. To him. Yes. Yeah. So you cater to, him to people language. Yes, in, the way that, in the way that they understand. So yeah. some people really they just want that companionship, that partnership. I'm able to sit down with you and we're talking mm -hmm. to each other. We're sending flirty text messages to each other, you know. So Food. Finally, yes. I, I will want to say that um, whatever situation you find yourself, whether you lost the one you were supposed to marry and you ended up the in the marriage that you have now, please make it work. Nurture. It's your marriage. Nurture your marriage. Stop giving excuses that it should have been this. Mm. Now you have landed yourself in I this world. Make your marriage, marriage work. That's it for me. <laughs> Bukum, what are you up to? Um, I'm playing my show on, on Sunday. Uh, that's on Sunday, 16th of February. I'm telling my story from Ibadan to becoming. Um, I struggled at some point in my life, you know, still drinks in traffic and all of that, you know, I had to help myself. Then became a banker, resigned, became an entertainer, mm. uh, the comedian, now stand up. So on Sunday, the 16th of February, uh, next two eight days, I'm going to be st telling the stories. Venue again? Venue. Uh, this is this star. This star has a hall in front oh, of the church. Okay, okay. Uh, next two eight, they call the hall. It the road. Okay. So I'm telling the story in a comical way and drama. Mm. My friends are going to be coming around. Arule, Ashuri, Dr. Smile, everybody, to make wow. a full drama. Only you all those people. Be oh, you know, be big people. Definitely. Um, uh, clean people jokes. Friends. Clean jokes. Oh, yeah, family jokes. Anything you are doing. Clean jokes. You can bring children. What time is it? You can bring children. What time? That's why we can take on today's show. Please, for everyone, we love to have you. We had a bumper pack again. show. If you miss this show, please go back on YouTube mm. and watch mm. every part. Yes, so sir. much wisdom from these ladies. They yes, are wise. Sir. I feel blessed. I'm See you for today. See you all tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.